Many fans, ourselves included, were pleasantly surprised that our first look at Ryder, the Mass Effect Andromeda protagonist, was of the female version of the character. After Male Shepard spent most of the past 10 years as the face of Mass Effect, with Female Shepard only entering the spotlight during the promotional period for Mass Effect 3, series veterans were curious as to whether or not Bioware would change things up this time around. Well, they did, and they have good reasons. Of course, there is the obvious reason that Bioware has always tried to be on the forefront of equality in video games, such as including a lesbian love interest way back in 2003 with the character Juhani in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So it was almost a given that our first look at Ryder would be the female version, in order to help offset the male-centric marketing of the original trilogy. However, the less obvious reason stems from Bioware trying to break away from not only the male-focused norm, but also from the need for a recognizable character in the promotional materials. With the original trilogy, Bioware took the appearance of Shepard very seriously, even going as far to give the default Shepard shown in advertising materials the face of the model Mark Vandaloo. To be fair, the strategy worked, and Vandaloo's face is now instantly recognizable as Commander Shepard, even among folks who have never played the game. But according to Bioware's Aaron Flynn, that sort of thing just isn't necessary with this type of game. I think the whole industry, us included, have moved beyond that, said Flynn in an interview with Eurogamer. Our games let you choose your main character. I think everyone gets that nowadays. You don't need to see a character to identify with, in the same way you might on a movie poster. People want to create their own characters, customize them, and we are embracing that. Flynn also went on to clarify that Bioware is continuing the trend of featuring a more neutral looking main character on the box art as seen in Dragon Age Inquisition. It appears likely that this means that the Ryder character shown in the EA Play trailer will not be prominently featured like Shepard was with the original trilogy. However, only time will tell. So we are excited to see what Bioware has planned to show us next. So what do you think about this news? Do you think this is the right path for Bioware to take with their marketing? Whatever your thoughts are, let us know in the comments down below. And while you are there, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.